two years since I did a review of the Rally Mule trailer and it's borne up pretty well. I haven't done weekly shopping in it with it in the last two years but I have done quite a few shopping trips and when I go I tend to fill it up quite a lot and that pushes this um, flexible uh, what would you call that flexible wall against the wheel and that in turn causes this problem we've got a tear look uh, quite a tear developing there and what I don't want that to do I don't want that rip to go all the way along it looks like Pretty well made so it's not going to do that but what I've done is I've just made something to prolong the life of the trailer I've made this little wooden frame and I'm hoping it's going to be sturdy enough and it fits inside just there like that. a couple of battens so it doesn't slide backwards and forwards and I've designed it so that it fits exactly between Oh. That's better. Exactly between there and there, between these bars. So I've moved it quite carefully. Okay, I'm just going to pop it in. This has all been carefully rehearsed. There we are. And that, hopefully, <laughs> is going to work um, because it stops. Because I've, I've made it so the wood is against there. Now, of course, things could slide underneath. You might do a better job than I have, but I'm hoping that's going to give it a little bit of extra life. If you're buying one of these things new, then you might want to get ahead of that and make your own frame before that problem develops. But in all other respects, really happy with this trailer and um, particularly this feature. Well, there's a couple of features which I hadn't noticed before. One is you can undo these. actually undo this so that comes out away like that which is quite nice it swings away like that and then the other feature that I think is really nice is this back flap comes off and clips in place there clips back on and you're good to go